Hi, my name is Scott Tong, T-O-N-G, and I am a journalist here in the United States. I'm Chinese American. I was born in New York State. I'm a journalist for Marketplace, which is the business and economics program on public radio stations around the country. So if you listen to public radio, you're a public radio geek, you might hear my voice uh, on the air doing stories. So my parents are the immigrants to China, and I, um, but I was in Shanghai for four years as the bureau chief from 2006 to 2010. Uh, and so I was reporting on the Chinese economy, and I also got to understand a lot more about my family history. My mom was born in Shanghai, uh, and I have uncles there. Um, so after I returned, I started to work on a book which connected my own family history with Chinese economic history. And the book is called A Village With My Name. Uh, family history of China's opening to the world. And it takes a long look at how China opened up to the world. It was open and closed and open again. And it tells the story through five people across five generations on my family tree. So it was very meaningful for my family, um, very meaningful for me to return or well, to find for the first time the family village on both my parents' side. Uh, certainly there are a lot of triumphs uh, and, and a lot of shame and um, so it was a journey for my parents and I to kind of dig into the family history. And in my family, like perhaps a lot of people at this kind of event, uh, my family historically in China were Chinese nationals who were connected to the outside. And so when China's doors were open to the world, they were the opportunists and the scholars. When China's doors were closed to the world, they were the prisoners and they were the scapegoats. Uh, my grandfather died in a labor camp as a, as a um, as a political prisoner, and then when China's doors opened again, uh, my, my family members in China were the opportunists once again. So that's a little bit of my story. I'm also here to participate in a conversation about Chinese adoption. My daughter, I have three children, and my daughter's in the middle, and she was born in Hunan province, and we adopted her when she was about a year old from there. Um, and I've written a little bit about her in the book as well, about our journey to adopt her, and also a little bit of the dark side of the adoption story. We found that um, when my daughter, when we adopted my daughter, there was a scandal going on in China with um, baby trafficking um, and baby selling involving intermediaries and Chinese orphanages. So I write about that as well. Certainly a lot of people in the adoption community, I think, are aware of um, all facets of the adoption story. So that's mine. Thanks very much.